So in this episode, I'm just about to start my first roof clean, but before I do, I've got all my equipment together, uh, trying to make sure that I've got everything I need. So I'll split that up into three categories. Uh, I'm gonna go through those three categories now and see what I've actually got. So I've split the equipment I'm using up into three categories. The first category is the moss removal, the second category is the biocide, and the third category is the PPE. So I'm gonna go through all the different categories and show you what I've got and see what, we, uh, what we're what we gonna be using. So the first and I think the most essential is the scraper. This is from Freeman's Flexi Scrapers. This is the 10 blade set. Um, it's set up at the moment for uh, Marley Roman Double, which is my first job that I got booked in, which I'm gonna be doing that, using that for. It's the double scraper, so you can put a second blade on the top um, and just bolt that on. So that, that'll come in quite handy. I've only got the one uh, blade on at the moment. Um, in my area, I think uh, the most common blades to use will be the uh, the flat square scrap blade, the uh, Ludlow Plus, and uh, there's one other, the Marley Ludlow Major. I think these are the most common ones in my area. And then from looking around, there's a few of the double Romans as well. When I spoke to Steve, um, he was really good actually. He didn't recommend that I just go for the biggest set. He said go with the 10 blade set, there'll be pretty much all I need for my area in it. And from checking about, he's right. He doesn't try to oversell me anything there. So really nice of him that. Also comes with the uh, polythene, I think it is, um, or some sort of plastic anyway, for doing the slate. So that's in the 10 blade set. The set comes with a set of Allen keys and spanner, so you can uh, change these out and tighten them up really tight. You can also undo the uh, Allen key in the middle there to change the angle on the gooseneck. Um, I've also got the, uh, uh, the wire brush with the adapter in it. That allows you to put it onto the back of your gooseneck. You take your gooseneck apart, put the wire brush in the middle, and then that comes with longer bolts so you can bolt right, right the way through and hold it all in tight. The bolts that are supplied with it wouldn't be long enough, that's why it comes with the longer, uh, the longer bolts. So that is the scraper, as I said, Freeman's Flexi Scrapers, fantastic service. Um, really, uh, really pleased with it. Actually, looks like it's really well made, really well milled out, quality piece of equipment. So I'm going to be using that on a uh, facelift Renegade pole. This is the 30 foot pole, aluminium pole. Um, I have got old uh, carbon fiber poles I could use, but I thought it's likely to get scraped up and down the roof. So I've gone with the Renegade pole and this has got the Exceed Innovations clamps on them, which are absolutely fantastic clamps. I've been using them for years in window cleaning and I can't fault them at all. Absolutely amazing pole that. So a bit heavier than carbon fiber, but I thought that would be worth the trade off because you'd soon rub the carbon fiber away on the roofs. So last thing I've got for the moss removal, the last thing I've got for the moss removal is I bought myself a pair of work gloves just to protect the hands a bit. Normally when I'm on the windows, I only use cheap uh, cheap gloves just to keep the dirt off my hands, gives you a bit of extra grip. So I thought these might uh, just protect the hands a little bit. So just in case they've gone a bit soft over the years. So the next category I'm going to talk about is the biocide. So to apply the biocide, I'm going to be using and out my gardener backpack. Great backpack. Um, I think it's about 20 litres it holds. So I've used it, I've had this for a few years now, never let me down. Battery lasts for ages on it. Absolutely brilliant. I've also got an extra section of hose so I can connect that up and that way I should be able to leave the backpack on the floor, uh, not have to worry about being able to reach um, any roofs. If I'm up on a scaffold, backpack won't have to be carried up, I'll just have the, the hose coming up to me. I'm going to be using a streamlined brush. Uh, I actually really like this brush, it's a really nice brush. I've got the four pencil jets in it, nicely spread out. Um, 
I've got other brushes that I thought about using that are maybe a bit worn, but I thought with this one, it's got a longer bristle on it, so be able to work it in between the tiles a lot better. Uh, I did think about using a spray nozzle from DA Components, but I thought there'd be more chance of boil spray with that. And from everything I've heard, um, especially watching Sid from Partridge Exterior Cleaning, uh, the brush seems to be the way to go. It seems to really foam up the biocide and work it in between the different tiles. Now, I'm gonna be using the brush on my old SLX uh, pole. This is one I used to use for window cleaning and don't use so much anymore. Uh, it's a great pole actually, a 30 foot pole, but I've got two extension sections on it, which make it up to 40 foot. That's just got the quick lock fitting on it, so nice and easy to attach the um, the brush to it. So finally, it's the biocide. Now this is the GK Pro biocide. Mike from uh, GK Pro contacted me, asked me if I'd be interested in featuring it on one of my videos, and I said, yeah, I'd love to. At the moment, I've got no experience, so I don't know if it's the best or not, but from everything I've heard and read about it, all the comments I've heard about it already, it is absolutely amazing stuff, really good. So we'll see how we get on with this. The first job I'm doing is actually for an existing customer of mine. So I'll be able to go back every month when I take, uh, well, every couple of months, I haven't done every two months, when I clean the windows and I can take photos all along to see how the, uh, the biocide's working over the months. So that's the GK Pro. Now the third section that or category that I was going to tell you about is the PPE. Now a lot of people laugh and joke about PPE but I've worked on building sites and on farms and I've gone without PPE for years wrongly uh, because now I'm going deaf um, you know it's it's no good for you I don't know what I've breathed in over the years it could have been anything so I've got a pair waterproof gloves, just a pair of cheap work gloves, those should do for now. I've also got, this is just a disposable suit, um, I will be getting another suit soon uh, rather than using the disposable ones, want it to last a bit longer and save just using them once and throwing them away, so disposable suit. I've got the, I think this is the uh, Force 8 mask from JSP, uh, so we'll see how that goes. And for the cartridges, thanks to Sid, he really did emphasize Sid from Partridge Exterior Cleaning, the Abtec One, uh, the Abtec One cartridges to go on the mask. Final thing I think is a set of goggles. Um, got to protect your eyes, you've only got one set and you can easily damage them, so I don't want anything going in them. So that's all the equipment I've got. I'm sure I'll missed something. If there is anything you can think of that I have missed, uh, put it in the comments below, let me know. And if there's anything that you think I could improve, let me know about that as well. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe and you'll see how I'll get on with my first roof clean when I do that. So see you soon. Bye for now.